Hey, Brandy. Just weeks after being bred, Brandy's in bad shape. Okay, we need her to stand up again. Okay. She's bleeding from her vagina. This is a very big concern for the dog. It potentially could indicate that the dog has an infection in the uterus, a pyometra. This infection eliminates any possibility of ever having another litter. Even worse, it puts Brandy's life at risk. Maybe the end of the road to having puppies there, baby girl. Let me, do a, let me do a couple tests and we'll see where things are. I want to see a white cell count number to see if she looks like she's dealing with um, infection in the body. It's okay, Brandy. It's okay. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a swab of the discharge from the vagina. It appears to be blood, but I want to see what else is in it. We just don't know. We need to do some investigating about what's going on with her. OK, this is what I see with her. Um, my first thought was that it was a pile, but I'm not really finding that. Her white cell count is in the normal range, which is good news. Luckily, Dr. Brenda's ruled out the worst case scenario. Brandy does not have an infection in the uterus, so she's not going to need surgery. She's not going to need to be spayed. Which means there's still a chance Brandy could be pregnant. There's a couple more things we can do to try to decide what's going on with her. Basically, we'll use the ultrasound like they do in women. We're looking at the uterus to see if we can see pups or crud. At this stage, you can definitely see developing puppies, if she has them. As I say, so there might be a chance. Right, exactly. Not every veterinary practice has an ultrasound available at the clinic. Um, we have ultrasound service that comes to the clinic periodically, so we just schedule her to come in and do the ultrasounds for us. Ultrasound should help determine exactly what's going on inside Brandy's uterus and whether or not the artificial insemination worked. With the bloody discharge she's got, I want to put her on antibiotics and I want her on them two weeks. And I'm using an antibiotic that's going to be safe for her if she is pregnant, safe for her, safe for the pups. What I'm hoping is we'll get her started and the bleeding will be under control with the antibiotics we've chosen. Dr. Brenda's going to have me come back next week for an ultrasound. So everything's looking kind of good. Watch it, Brandy. There you go. We don't know if she has puppies or not, but hopefully we'll know next week.